Uh, night two, worst infomercial ever. Also, we call it the 2020 DNC Adam Schiff show. Let's put it that way. The past two nights, just heard nothing but several Democrats touting Biden and his campaign's far left agenda, more left than any major political party in history. 2016, Republican presidential candidate uh, John Kasich's madness. Here with reaction to all of this, senior White House advisor Kellyanne Conway. Kellyanne, I'm sure you have one or two things to say about all of this. <laughs> hey, Sean, thanks for having me. Four years ago, I was with you in Philadelphia, the Democratic Convention, and we would say, wow, have you ever seen such a grievance-filled uh, candidate nominee that's feckless and reckless and cantankerous? And the answer is yes, even more so now. You've got Joe Biden, who beat all these socialist radical ideas in the primary and the candidates who carried them, now capitulating and congratulating to the same people. And it looks a little bit like a swamp reunion to me. For a convention that's supposed to be about the people and for the people, you've got lots of folks who have been in and of Washington for decades. Bill Clinton, they gave him less than five minutes tonight. If you look at the average time that he's spoken over the last, say, seven, eight Democratic conventions, 60-some minutes, 25 minutes, 48 minutes, his role has shrunk in the party because the party that he tried to be a moderate in no longer exists. It has been taken over by the squad that doesn't do squat. It's been taken over by the Bernie Biden manifesto. And I think most importantly, the person mentioned most at the Biden convention is not Joe Biden. It's Donald Trump. Trump, 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 Trump. It's every, it's every noun, verb, and adverb out of their mouths. It tells you that the Democratic Party itself has no confidence in the competence of their nominee, Joe Biden. They missed their moment. Joe Biden as the nominee means that Donald Trump continues to run as the outsider, the underdog, the underestimated outsider, even though he's the incumbent president. Usually the challenger to the incumbent owns the mantle of outsider. That cannot possibly be true if you've got Joe Biden, who has done less in 47 years in Washington than Donald Trump has done 47 months in Washington. You and I live and breathe and eat politics and have for decades, right? Okay. There's never been a, a major political party this radical. How will the country accept it, whether True. they try to hide it or not hide it? I mean, he's, he's embraced it, he's owned it, and, and clearly, I guess, believes in it, or else he wouldn't have done it. We already know what the public thinks. If you look at polling on issues, which is always much more telling than horse race ballot questions, because those change over time as people solidify their votes and take a look at the candidates and make their decisions. But if you look at policy questions, Americans reject everything the Green New Deal stands for. It's expensive. It's intrusive. It's invasive. It's, it's just the worst of the federal government banning cows and gas and air travel and the like. In fact, when it went to a vote in the United States Senate, Sean, do you recall how many votes the Green New Deal got? Zero. Zero, including among the Democrats who were running for it, president at the time who said that they wanted to support it. It got zero votes when they actually had to go back and tell their constituents, we support this. We know abortion in the ninth month is a non-starter. We know raising our taxes, you know, the business tax went from 35 percent down to 21 percent under President Trump. And if you raise it back up again, millions of Americans will lose their jobs. We know that people don't want the big lie of the last 10 years, you can keep your plan, keep your doctor, to continue under Joe Biden. It's President Trump, the health care president, who's been trying to stabilize these exchanges and make health care more affordable, more accessible. So if you look at issues polling, the Democratic Party right now is way out of step with where Americans are. That's why it's very odd that Joe Biden, who beat down all those issues, beat down all those policies and the people who stood for them, is, is rolling, back to the cent rolling back to the hard left and doing that. Look, if you look at all the footage of Joe Biden bragging about with Bill Clinton his vote on NAFTA, Donald Trump's done away with that with the USMCA. Much better for this country, for job creators, job seekers, job holders. Much better for Mexico, much better for Canada, much better for the United States of America. Look at Joe Biden and Bill Clinton bragging about their big crime bill in 1994. It's President Trump who's enacted criminal justice yeah. reform such that people who are overcharged and oversentenced have a second chance at life. And we will be highlighting a number of those people next week at our People's Convention. You will see people who have been consequentially, measurably impacted in their lives because President Trump is in the Oval Office and is commander in chief. And that's really the story of his presidency. All right. Kellyanne, always good to see you. Thank you for being with us.